Hey guys, it's me David, and guys, I have something a little bit different for you. I have something that is actually a pre-production sample from a Kickstarter that's going on right now that I'll link down below. And so they actually reached out and went ahead and sponsored this video, so thank you so much for doing that, guys. It's called the Mahdi Makers Kit. Uh, it's actually something fairly new I haven't seen before. So specifically, even though this is a pre-production kit, I do also wanna say that this is the road trip version. That's what the box says, at least. Um, I believe there's like different tiers on the Kickstarter, so this might be one of those tiers. Um, so yeah, it's called the Mahdi 4-in-1 Road Trip Roadmap. So this looks like something you would take one of the sensors to actually track. So this is kind of cool, actually. So yeah, here's what's in the kit. Looks like there's a bunch of Lego here. Got some wires and all that jazz. Oh wow, they actually... There's a lot here. Okay, so they basically sent one of everything. That's cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like we have one of each uh, each level. So basically, this right here is actually what Mahdi is making. It's basically these little um, control blocks, each uh, doing specific things. Like one is powering uh, one thing after the other. One is doing lights. One is you know connecting things together. There's a I believe an IR sensor here. So there's a lot of, and a motor. So there's lots of different things uh, to basically connect. So I'll go ahead and take one out right now. I actually, it's pretty cool. So they're, they, they're like magnetic. You can see right here, they kind of just, they actually, that's actually works pretty well. So yeah, there's little magnets that kind of uh, connect the blocks together. Um, and again, you can see underneath there's these, uh, these Lego studs that that's how you're attaching this to Lego. Now, specifically, this is geared towards, I would say, younger children, mainly because um, they're aiming this at people who don't know how to code or aren't really familiar with coding language or anything to do anything super advanced. So this is kind of like an entry point into robotics is what they're aiming this for. And again, younger children, Lego, robotics kind of makes sense to put it all together. So I see why they're making this campaign. All right, so now I have everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually scan this QR code right here because I think that's where I'll find the instructions to build this stuff because uh, there is no instructions in the box. So let's take my phone and scan it. There we go, actually it came right up. Yep, and here we go. This is the instructions right here. So basically, Mahdi sent uh, one of each of the kits. I believe they're selling on Kickstarter. You can buy all of them or you can buy just one of them. Up to you. Um, I'll go ahead and build all of them and show you the functions of what their robotics technology plus the Lego uh, can do. Um, and I'll be interested to see what you guys have to say down in the comments, but let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay guys, so I have the uh, level one module built. This is also called the motorcycle. Uh, pretty simple build. It's definitely for the younger folks out there. Uh, pretty straightforward uh, in terms of how the system works. You have this battery which connects to the Bluetooth module, which connects to a bunch of motors with the wires that you see here. I'll put the top, cam top camera on right now and you can actually get a better idea of how this works. But I have my iPhone here, I have their uh, Mahdi app downloaded and as soon as you plug in the battery to the Wi-Fi module it automatically works. You can see the blinking lights and all that. It's a rechargeable battery so that's cool. Um, but yeah it shows up on Bluetooth and basically it just works right away. You don't have to do anything else to make it work. And for this particular thing being a motorcycle makes sense to use the joystick um, you know option and as soon as I open it it works right out of the box. So that's really cool. Um, and of course you can have fun moving around, bumping into people, maybe scaring your dog or, or hamster away, whatever it might be. So very cool, definitely like this. I like how intuitive it works. It just, it just works as soon as it turns on and it's not much uh, work to set it up. So that's very nice. So that's the level one motorcycle. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next module. All right, so moving on, next we have this helicopter type of vehicle here. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. We have dual motors with uh, little spinning blades on each side, and then there's this sensor here in the front that basically, I believe, acts, uh, it can tell like the distance from the ground to how far you're holding it. Um, so that's pretty cool. If I go into the app, again, going back to the joystick, I can move the motors just like I could with the motorcycle, and now it looks like this helicopter is flying around. So that's pretty cool. I actually really like the design. It definitely resembles a helicopter um, all the way around. So it looks good. I like it. Um, it was a little more, uh, yeah, 
it was a little more in depth than the motorcycle that, uh, in terms of building. So that's again, I think why they call it a level two. But now we're gonna move on to the level three modules and there's actually two of those. Okay, so next we have the pickup truck here. Uh, they call this the level three, mainly because it's a more in depth model that definitely uh, requires a little bit more of build time. Uh, but definitely what's cool is there's two LED lights here that connect into the modules as well as uh, two motors and then a little sensor underneath that I believe actually tracks on this, uh, this road map right here. So you can have the truck actually like follow it and all that. All right, so I have the app open now and just like the other models, you can move the pickup truck forwards, backwards, side to side and all that. Um, and of course the LED lights will come on as well as you should be able to track the vehicle again on that roadmap. So pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next module. And lastly, we have the cabin. So this is also like a level three tier. Um, so more advanced building. And uh, the main function here is that the garage door opens and closes utilizing a motor. If we turn it around, there's an LED light both here in the house and in the garage. And then there's again, another little sensor out here. You might be able to like <laughs> use it as if like, oh, hey, it's like a stranger coming into the house. Like if it isn't the right color or something like that. So uh, interested in seeing the final version. Again, this is a pre-production model. So everything here and what I showed you in this video is subject to change to the final models that they're actually um, kickstarting on Kickstarter. I do wanna th uh, say thank you to Madi or Lux Robo for actually sponsoring this video. Curious to see what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. I'll leave the link to the Kickstarter down in the description and bye-bye.